Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to set up Mailgun SMTP. All right, so first up, go ahead and log into your Mailgun account. And once you're in here, click on send. Now go ahead and go to uh, domains. Open up your domain. Now go ahead and go to the top and click on SMTP credentials, okay? Click on it. And here, if you don't have a uh, SMTP user, you can go ahead and click on new right here at the top right. Okay, just click on it. Now go ahead and enter a uh, name, for example, made for money, just like that. And a password, you can go ahead and use automatic or manual. For example, manual right here, just going to use it like that and hit on create. Okay, wait for it to load. Now you can go ahead and close this one. And here you have your SMTP user. Now what we're going to do next is just go ahead and open up our uh, SMTP server or the uh, SMTP server provider. Okay, now for this example, I'm just going to be using a testing uh, website like gmas.co just for you to see how to set it up. Okay, smtp-test. Okay, if you're using SMTP server, just go ahead over to the uh, send section and you'll be able to see the same set of forms. Now in here, it's going to make you see uh, two windows like so. Now, SMTP server right here, self-explanatory, you use your website. All right. Type down your website right here. Once done, just for this example, I'm going to be using SMTP. Okay. Go to ports. As you can see here, here are the available ports 25, 587, 2525, and 465. I'm just going to be using 25 right here. Security, we have non SSL, TIS, TIS when available. I'm just going to leave it as auto. Okay. Username right here. Copy this one. Or you can go ahead and type down your own username. Okay. Then go ahead and enter the password. As you might remember, we have set up a password right here. And from email address, for example, this one from this sandbox. Okay. This will be your domain. Okay. Again, this is your domain right here. To email address, for example, my email. By then, you can go ahead and type, test it from here. All right. And that's basically how you do it. Well, I hope this video helps. And I'll see you in the next one.